Hi Libras! Welcome back to Ann T. Tarot. And if it's your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for stopping in. Libras, thank you for all your views, like, share, subscription last month and helping me grow my channel. I appreciate it. We're going to go ahead and do your December 2018 love reading today. Go ahead and get started. Spirit, Angel, Guys, Senate Masters, what messages do you have for Libras in Love for December 2018? Libras in Love for December 2018. What messages does Libras need to know in Love for December 2018? Messages for Libras. Simply Love. So they're saying just to simply love Libras. Or the other meaning to this is it's just simply love. It's, it, it's an ambiguous statement in that it can be telling you to just simply love, meaning it's to apply love to the situation. Or if you're asking if it's love, is saying it's it's simply love. I hope that makes sense because this is an ambiguous statement, so it could be taken either way. To simply love, as in love, the verb, or it's saying it's simply love, as in the noun. I hope that makes sense, Libras. I hope you understand what I'm saying. But we'll continue on, and we'll have clarifying cards. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Libras in love for December 2018? Libras in love for December 2018. Messages for Libras in love for December 2018. What messages do you have? Crown Chakra. So Virgos just had this. It seems like the angels are having each sign work on a particular energy center chakra this coming month. Um, but the, the crown chakra is the energy center that is located on the top of your head. And it's the chakra that allows us to communicate with our higher self, our guides, our angels, spirit, when we pray, how we can connect to the divine. So maybe you're working on your crown chakra to speak um, to to your guys or your angels more or maybe that that uh that chakra is blocked and they're saying to to work on opening it um but i feel like maybe you're working on it more so depending on what set of libras but the crow chakra is what they want you to focus on and once again that's the chakra that is on top of your head and it allows you to communicate with your higher self or God or the divine. The other car, the other uh, chakra energy center card that pops out is the sacral. The sacral card is, the sacral chakra is a chakra that is around our abdomen area. It's below the, um, the stomach area. And this is the chakra for creativity, for sexual energy, for desire, for passion. So if there's something that you're passionate about, or or something that you need creativity on that is the other chakra you can work on that may be blocked or that you're working on libra so focus on on that area spirit what other messages do you have for libras in love for december 2018 messages for libras in love for december 2018 Messages for Libras in Love for December 2018. Spirit, what other messages do you have for shock for heal? So spirits spirits giving you the message to heal. So maybe heal the situation in love or heal yourself. And that's why they're giving you these chakras, the crown chakra and the sacral chakra to focus on so you can heal. And then there's two cards that fell out with it. Healing begins. And here's the heart chakra. And seek the truth. 
So whatever the situation you have in mind, Libras, your angels, guys, spirits saying to seek for the truth or look for the truth in the situation. Because if we seek, we shall find, right? Seek and ye shall find, knock, and it should be opened up upon you. So somebody else had this, uh, another sign had this this month also. So, and, and this is a love reading, but sometimes I pick up in other areas of your life. But my background is a healer, so sometimes these messages come through and it's all related because in order for us to have a successful and healthy relationship with others, we need to be balanced in ourself. And for us to be balanced in ourself, our energy center, you know, everything needs to be in, in alignment. So it all kinds of go hand in hand and, and are related. So I hope that makes sense because I know it's a love reading and, and we're talking about healing and energy centers and chakras, but it is related. So I just wanted to explain that a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and pull these angel cards to clarify some of those messages there. Libras. Ascension. Wow, Libras. <laughs> the angels. The, the messages for you this month, it seems to be all in alignment with healing and aligning and, and service. Wow. This is very interesting. So... I was just saying that we have to balance ourselves to be healed and whole so that we can be in healthy, successful relationship. But then when we're in that place, we can also serve. So ascension is, you see how, so each chakra, we have seven major chakra. We have more than seven, but seven major one. And that's the seven that we always see in books and, and things like that. So you have two chakras that already popped out, the crown chakra and the sacral chakra. And then and it's asking you to heal, and it says healing begin, and this has the heart chakra, which where her chest is, the, the green is for the heart chakra. And then you have this, this card that is a, ascension, and this is when all our chakras are aligned. You see, it's the red, the orange, the yellow, the green, the blue. It goes straight up, and then you have, you have like sort of like um, enlightenment and light this is when we're all balanced and then your energy your life force the Chinese call it Qi it goes in and you're aligned and so that's a, an ascension okay and then once you're all aligned and are healthy within yourself then you can start doing service so I don't know if you've been asking or praying or meditating or wanting to do service or being called to do service or to serve in some way um, and it doesn't even have to be on a big scale. It could be helping out in their neighborhood, helping the kids, helping women, whatever, whatever you feel called upon to do, Libras. It sounds like spirit is, is having you work on your chakra, clear and heal, and then seek the truth. And then you'll have ascension and balance, and then you can start doing your service. So that's interesting. And the service could be in relation to your love relationship or your partner. Maybe they can do it with you, but not necessarily. Um, so like I said, we, we're doing love readings, but sometimes other messages comes out. So um, whatever messages that you need to hear is my prayer when I do these readings because I'm reading for, for the general public. Motivation. So she, he's, he's holding an arrow, getting ready to shoot. Very focused, sharp. You know, maybe they're, they're having you be motivated to do service or maybe you're feeling motivated to do some service work of some kind. And if you're asking about your loved one or someone in mind in regards to love, let's see what the other person have to say to you what messages do they want you to know spirit what messages does the other person that Libras have in mind want them to know in regards to love for December 2018 what messages does the other person want Libras to know what other messages is the other person saying to Libras what messages does Libras What other messages, what messages does the person that Libras are asking or inquiring about want them to know? What messages? 
I know I screw things up and honestly have no idea how to fix it. So Libras, they're telling you that they know they screwed it up, but they have no clue how to fix it. No idea. Okay. And then the two that fell out underneath that is your intensity frightens and allures me all at the same time. So your intensity attracts them, but it also scares them. And the grass wasn't greener on the other side. So if you were in a relationship with someone and they decide to take a break or on hold or they decide to go seek elsewhere, they're letting you know that the grass was not greener on the other side. Let's see what messages do we have with these oracle lovers oracle cards for you spirit what messages do you have for Libras in love oops too many cards this one was laying up when it comes to matters of the heart there is no right or wrong every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love so this card a whole bunch fell out but this was the one where the wording was flipped over when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding in life and love. So I don't know if that's a message for a Libra that needs to know that, but there's no right or wrong. Okay, so I'm going to actually pull one since those just fell out, but I'm just wondering if, if uh, uh, some Libras needed to hear or know that message. Spirit... What messages do you have for Libras? Only time will tell. This is the front. So whatever you're inquiring about Libras is saying only time will tell. Okay. I'm going to pull one more. What other messages do you have for Libras in love, Spirit, for December 2018? Messages for Libras in love for December 2018. This is the front of the card. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. So Libras, your angels is just reminding you that when you pass from this world, which we all will, you take nothing with you but your soul and the memories you have shared with those you love. I, and I believe Aquarius had the same message. So it's it's just reminding you that the things we accumulate in this life, you know, whether it's our homes, our car, or anything of material, when we pass, we have to leave it all behind. We can't take anything that we acquire on this earth with us. However, what we take with us is within our soul, which is the memories and the love that we share with, with those that we love, with our loved ones. Okay, so that, uh, that is a sweet, nice reminder message. And let's see what the Romance Angel cards have for you. What message? Spirit, what messages do you have? Angels, what messages do you have for Libras in love for December 2018? Messages for Libras in love for December 2018. Messages... Reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. So if you're in a, a love relationship and you had a disagreement or a separation or you went your separate ways or you're in the middle of an argument, um, your angels are saying there will be reconciliation, Libras, if that applies to your situation. Let's see what other messages. Angels, what other messages do you have for Libras in love for December 2018? Messages for Libras in love for December 2018. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So if you're in the middle of making a decision or indecisive about something, Libras, or not sure about something, your angels are saying to make a decision clear be clear about it have clarity clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now and once you do that it'll come to you very soon okay 
And then this month, I'm going to pull crystal cards for you guys just to give you guys some kind of tools to work on. Uh, last month, we did chakra energy cards. And I like to end my readings to give you some type of tools or something that you, that will, that you can take with you that will help you for healing. Um, and this month, like I said, I'm pulling crystal cards. And the cards that flipped over for you is Kind Night Libras. Uh, make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So kyanite is a blue stone. It's, it's sort of this blue here. Sometimes it can be a little lighter. So if you have kyanite in your collection, you might want to pull that out, use it, work with it. And sometimes they have kyanite in, stone, uh, in jewelry as well. Sometimes it's rare, but if you happen to have kyanite jewelry, you might want to take it out and maybe wear it uh, on you, on your body for this coming month. Or you can also acquire some at your local metaphysical store or order some online. But um, your angels are reminding you to take care of yourself. I know this is a busy time of year. Um, and I think another sign, Virgo, had that, that, that uh, self-care message as well. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So maybe you've been run down or feeling burnt out or been busy or doing too many things, running around. But um, your angels are reminding you to take time for yourself is essential. And if you have kind night, go ahead and pull that stone out and carry it with you, put it in your pocket, your purse, um, and wear it on you if it's a piece of jewelry. So I hope that helps uh, give you some clarity and I hope you enjoy that li reading Libras. Thanks again for watching and happy holidays and I will see you next month. Take care, bye.